Okay, at the end of the previous video, we had this animation. So we are gonna hit the pause button on that, figuratively and uh, literally, and we are just gonna hide that. We're gonna have a quick discussion on constraints. So to do a demonstration, I'm gonna drag out an ellipse and a rectangle. And then I'm gonna select the rectangle. And then in the inspector on the right side, if we go down, we can see there's a um, attribute called constraints and I'm going to hit the plus you can see we have a couple here um, and I'm going to use that the distance as an example so selecting the distance constraint you can see that we can specify a target so a target would be where the distance constraint gets applied to so I'm going to select a plus here and then select the item to use as target and I'm going to use the ellipse as a target and then you can see that there are modes that we can set. We can set closer than, further than, exactly. So let's do exactly. And then select the rectangle, hit T for translate. And I'm trying to move it to the right, but I can't. Can't move it to the left. I literally can only do this radius from the circle. And that is essentially what a constraint does. It tells um, Flare to follow some constraint. And as you saw, there were multiple constraints that we could have added. For example, a transform constraint will transform this object as this one um, transforms itself. So you definitely should play around with that. In a later video, um, I'll show you a quick example how that gets used for rigging a character.